Hello and Merry Christmas everyone! Back in October, I had made a collaboration video with my friend Celine here on YouTube in which she challenged me to perform her version of the perfect autumn day. Now we're back at it again, except this time I am challenging her to perform my version of the perfect festive winter day. For those of you who don't know Celine yet, she runs a YouTube channel based on 30 day challenges. Do 30 days of journaling in here. For the next 30 days, I will be getting eight hours of sleep a night. 30 days of mindfulness meditation and yoga. An occasional haul and glimpses inside her life as a professional musician and a courier in Boston. Her videos are always motivating me and they're always making me laugh and I just know that you'll love them too. So definitely go pop over to her channel and show her some love by subscribing and by saying hi. Now let's begin our most festive winter day. Every cold morning during Christmas time must start with a cup of hot coffee. My favorite is a dark roast with Coffee Mate's Peppermint Mocha Creamer. What's your go-to hot drink during the winter? Let me know in the comments below. I always brew my coffee and drink it with Percy who is always waiting for me on the couch by the Christmas tree. Now to get ready, we must go through these sweaters and choose the chunkiest and goofiest one. My makeup routine for Christmas time always includes a little extra glitter and a spritz of cozy seasonal fragrance from Bath & Body Works. One of my traditions is to find somewhere to do some giving, and one of my favorite ways is to get gifts for children from the giving tree. This year I have a young girl that wants coloring books and supplies, and a teenager that wants makeup. I already have a couple things for them, but to complete these gifts we need to go shopping, so let's go! Here's what I ended up buying. I'm going to bag them up, then drop them off to the sled by the giving tree. Another important tradition for me is baking with my mom. Every Christmas we make our family recipe of Danish jelly cookies. Together my mom and I are making a menu of cookies all within a theme. Danish jelly since we are Danish, ginger cookies to represent the German, my mom got Italian as a part of her DNA results so we are making Italian Christmas cookies, and then Mexican chocolate cookies to represent Jose. For the Danish jelly cookies, traditionally we use raspberry jam, but this time we are also going to make green ones with mint apple jelly too. Here's the Danish cookies all done. Here's how the ginger cookies turned out. They smell so good. These ones are the cute little Italian cookies and they have a hint of lemon in them. And these ones are the Mexican chocolate.
My next tradition is the Christmas Eve cheese board. Since as I'm filming this, it's not yet Christmas Eve, so I'm going to be making an abridged version for today's dinner just so you can see a sample size of what we traditionally eat on Christmas Eve. I have two trays this size, plus a couple other smaller ones that we usually fill up on the actual holiday, but today I'm just going to fill up this little one. Starting with the main feature, I have a variety of cheeses picked out. I try to get a good balance of hard and soft cheeses. The only one I'm going to break into today is the mozzarella balls because I have two containers, and just like on the container, we're making them into skewers with basil and tomato. The brie wheel might be my favorite because we bake it so it's all soft and pair it with slow simmered cranberries and walnuts and it's the most festive thing ever, it's so good. For some hard cheeses, I have Irish cheddar, Gruyere, and then I've got mild provolone, and another favorite which is the smoked gouda. For a good spreadable cheese, we have Boursin, and yes, I had to look up how to pronounce that. I love the bulk section of my grocery store because they have lots of flavored nuts perfect for cheese boards. The ones I chose are smoked almonds, salt and pepper cashews, and toffee coated peanuts. Moving on to the veggies, fresh veggies are definitely welcome on the board. I guess tomatoes are technically fruits, but either way, these are for the mozzarella skewers I mentioned before. The rest of my veg are pickled because I am a pickle fiend. I am obsessed with sweet gherkins especially, but I also have baby dills, and then I have pickled okra, which sounds weird, but you should try it if you like pickled things. They're really yummy. I do also have black olives and marinated grilled artichokes. Over here, I have an assortment of fresh herbs, which are not just for eating, but also for adding color and making the board aromatic. For fruit, I already talked about the cranberries that go with the baked brie. We have both red and green grapes, which I need to wash up. To continue the red and green theme, we have both colors of pears, these apples we grew from our trees, this one is the John of Gold, and this one is the Spartan. Dried fruits are also great for the charcuterie boards, and we have apricots, dates, and cranberries. Pomegranates are fun too because they are festive and they can be used as decor on the board besides for eating. Moving on to the meat and seafood, Jose and I are pescatarians, which means we only eat seafood, but the rest of the family do eat meat. So we got them a smoked summer sausage, some simple pepperonis, and black forest ham. For seafood, we have smoked salmon and these pre-cooked shrimp. For starches, I got crackers that are really simple since we have a variety of condiments, both sweet and savory. So having a basic canvas is the easiest. Then we have this baguette that we are going to eat today with the bread, dipping oil, and vinegar mixes that we got. I don't know where my fig jam went, but we do have sour cherry spread, honey Dijon mustard, and green olive spread for the other condiments. Finally, last but not least are the sweets. Of course, we have here our family tradition of Danish jelly cookies and our ginger cookies. Also, as a tradition, we love to go to Marshall's and buy these Italian sweetbreads that are like fruit cakes. This one has candied orange and raisins in it, and this one we've not tried before, but it's chocolate and cherry, so looking forward to trying that one on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to put this stuff back for Christmas Eve and use just these things to make a board for today. Bon appetit! Now all that's left to our day is to wind down and enjoy spending the rest of the night in. Some of the things we like to do during the holidays at nighttime is play Ticket to Ride, one of my favorite board games. We just bought this one to try since it's the Nordic edition, which is perfect for the holidays. I also love to read by the light of the Christmas tree with my family, cats, and a hot chocolate. I'm going to close out this evening by watching the Polar Express. 
I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season this year, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Celine's version of the most festive winter day, which I have linked in the cards above and the description below. Until next time, good night. Thank you.